Hello everyone, welcome back to the YouTube channel. If you're new here, make sure to subscribe, because today's episode is one you won't want to miss. We're diving deep into one of the most thrilling aspects of modern naval power, the anti-submarine warfare capabilities of the BRP Jose Rizal FF-150, the pride of the Philippine Navy. Now, imagine the ocean. From the surface it looks calm, peaceful, and endless. But underneath that blue horizon, a hidden battlefield is always there. Submarines lurk in the darkness, silent and unseen. They carry torpedoes, missiles, and sometimes even nuclear weapons. They stock shipping lanes, they wait for opportunities, and they represent one of the most dangerous threats to any nation that depends on the sea for its survival. And let's be honest, in today's world, that means almost every nation on Earth. So what do you do when your enemy has the power to vanish beneath the waves? hide for weeks, and strike without warning. You build ships like the BRP Jose Rizal FF-150. Sleek, powerful, and armed with cutting-edge technology, this frigate is not just a ship, it's a hunter, built specifically to track down the ghosts of the ocean and make sure they never get the chance to cause harm. The BRP Jose Rizal FF-150 was built in South Korea and delivered to the Philippine Navy in 2020. At first glance, she looks beautiful, almost elegant, with her sharp lines and modern design. But behind that beauty is a warrior. Her mission is crystal clear. Defend the seas, protect the nation, and ensure that no submarine can ever threaten the Philippines or its allies. The heart of her anti-submarine capability lies in her sonar systems. Sonar, short for sound navigation and ranging, is like the ears of the ship. While humans rely on sight to detect threats, the ocean is too vast and too dark for eyes to be useful. Instead, the BRP Jose Rizal FF-150 listens. Her sonar arrays send sound waves into the water, and when those waves bounce back, they reveal what's hiding in the depths. It's a little like shining a flashlight in a dark cave, except instead of light, it's sound. Submarines can try to be quiet, but even the most advanced ones can't hide forever from a determined sonar system. Once a submarine is detected, the game of cat and mouse begins. Tracking underwater threats is not just about spotting them once. Submarines move, they try to escape, they try to disappear again. That's where the training of the crew and the integration of sensors come in. Onboard computers take the sonar data, combine it with intelligence from helicopters, drones, and even satellites, and create a picture of where the submarine might be heading. And here's where it gets really intense. If the BRP Jose Rizal FF-150 confirms that a submarine is hostile, she doesn't hesitate. Her torpedo launchers come into play. These aren't just ordinary weapons. These are precision-guided underwater hunters. Once fired, they travel through the water at high speed, homing in on their target. For a submarine commander who thought he was safe, hearing the sound of an incoming torpedo is the ultimate nightmare. But the ship doesn't work alone. That's the beauty of modern naval warfare. The BRP Jose Rizal FF-150 can deploy her onboard helicopter, the A-159 Wildcat, which carries its own sonar system and torpedoes. Imagine this. While the ship listens from one location, the helicopter can fly ahead, drop sonar buoys into the water, and expand the search area. Suddenly, a submarine that thought it was hiding is being hunted from above and from the surface. It's a deadly combination that makes escape nearly impossible. For the sailors on board, anti-submarine warfare is not just about technology. It's about vigilance. It's about hours of listening to faint echoes, watching screens, analyzing data, and knowing that somewhere in the darkness there could be an enemy waiting. It's stressful, it's exhausting, but it's also a matter of national survival. Because if a hostile submarine were ever to break through, the consequences could be catastrophic. The presence of the BRP Jose Rizal FF-150 changes that equation. She sends a message. The Philippines is not blind, the Philippines is not vulnerable, and any submarine that tries to sneak too close will be found. This is more than defense, it's deterrence. When enemies know you can see them, when they know you can strike them before they strike you, they think twice. And sometimes, that hesitation is enough to prevent conflict entirely. Every day, Thousands of ships pass through the waters of Southeast Asia. They carry food, fuel, medicine, and trade goods worth billions of dollars. 
If those sea lanes were ever threatened by submarines, economies would collapse and people would suffer. By standing guard, the BRP Jose Rizal FF-150 ensures that the lifelines of the nation remain open and safe. That's not just military strength, that's national security in the truest sense. And let's not forget the symbolism here. The ship is named after Jose Rizal, the national hero of the Philippines. Just as Rizal stood for freedom, knowledge, and courage, this frigate stands for sovereignty, vigilance, and protection. Every time she goes out to sea, she carries not just weapons and technology, but the spirit of a nation determined to defend itself. For the crew, this is not just a job, it's an honor. Every sonar ping, every radar sweep, every watch shift, it's all part of something larger. They are the guardians of the deep, the shield against unseen enemies. And for the people of the Philippines, knowing that the BRP Jose Rizal FF-150 is on duty brings peace of mind. Of course, no system is perfect. Submarines are evolving too, they're becoming quieter, deadlier, and harder to detect. That's why continuous training, upgrades, and cooperation with allies are so important. The sea is a living battlefield, and only those who adapt survive. But the BRP Jose Rizal FF-150 is more than capable of holding her own, and with each mission, she grows stronger. So when we talk about anti-submarine capabilities, it's not just about machines. It's about people, vigilance, courage, and the willingness to face invisible threats. The BRP Jose Rizal FF-150 represents all of that. She is not just a ship, she is a promise, a promise that the Philippines will defend its seas, protect its people, and never be taken by surprise. Thank you for watching, everyone. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, because next time we'll continue our series with another exciting look at modern naval capabilities. Until then, stay safe. Stay strong, and remember, the ocean may hide many secrets, but with ships like the BRP Jose Rizal FF-150, no threat stays hidden forever.